Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make this quick video because Bitcoin right now seems to be rejecting off a very important level, in fact potentially the last resistance before we see much higher levels, and we are seeing what is potentially a very powerful signal pointing to us moving to the downside, and uh, that is called the divergence sweet strategy, which essentially means that we're just seeing bearish divergences across almost all the time frames from the daily down. So on the daily, right now it seems like we are forming a bearish divergence. It's not confirmed. If we end up losing this uh, spider line as resistance, if we just pump above it, this daily momentum wave could end up just coming above this one and then that is voided. But right now we've made a higher high and the momentum wave is lower than the previous one. Also, if you look at the money flow, you can see that um, the last time we made a higher high, which was right here, the money flow actually increased. But this time from this peak to this peak, if you look at where the money flow was, we are actually sitting at the exact same level right now. Um, as we made a higher high, it seems like the daily money flow is actually turning down a little bit. So it is still unconfirmed on the daily, but we do seem to be forming divergences there. So what we do next is we just try to zoom in a little bit. We go down the time frames, go to the 12 hour, and here we see a very similar thing. We see bearish divergences forming, but the money flow is actually at the exact same point as it was during this peak, just like on the daily time frame. So we're seeing the momentum waves diverge, but we're not seeing the money flow diverge. So go down to the eight hour. And on the eight hour, we are potentially seeing the money flow diverge along with the momentum waves. We could technically draw two divergences here from this peak to this peak or from this peak to this peak because we made a higher high both times then we go down to the six hour the six hour money flow is still potentially diverging it's not as clear as the eight hour but if the money flow continues to move down from here then we will have failed to make a higher high now the four hour is where it is starting to get interesting because you are seeing very clear money flow divergence along with very clear momentum wave divergence going all the way back to this peak. And on top of that, you are seeing local divergences within the larger ones, potentially. If this momentum wave continues down from here, if we end up rejecting from the spider line, then we will have a four hour bear div there, and we will have a four hour bear div here. So could potentially be a very bearish sign, especially since we're seeing the money flow clearly moving downwards. Now the two hour, the money flow is still technically diverging from this point if it uh, begins moving downwards from here. And I mean, it could be very slight, but we did make a higher peak right here if we start moving down right now so we could be diverging with the money flow on two hour but just like with all the other time frames basically we are seeing clear divergence in the momentum waves but looking at the one hour you can see money flow looks very bearish on the one hour and we do have the bearish divergence in momentum even across uh, a larger time frame we diverged there too with this peak so we're seeing the same things with momentum and the money flow looks much more bearish than the two hour. Then let's come down to the 30 minute. We're seeing the same thing, momentum divergence, money flow divergence. And we even had some local bearish divergence on a very small time frame as we came up to make this high on the three minute. You can see the momentum diverged. Uh, we didn't see money flow diverge, but it has been coming down ever since. Does not seem like we had a divergence on the one minute when we came up to this high.
but almost all of the time frames from the daily and down are showing bear divs. A lot of them are showing money flow bear divs as well, or at least money flow curving downwards. And to me, that seems like a pretty powerful signal. However, Bitcoin recently has been ignoring the bear divs. I mean, you saw we've been forming them since pretty much this peak on some time frames, and Bitcoin has just been pumping up and ignoring them. However, I think at a certain point, the, uh, the divergences are going to play out. And I mean, at least on my chart, the spider line was the last level of resistance before um, potential move up. I mean, maybe this wick right here, but there isn't much market structure in this area. So a lot of people feel that there's not going to be a lot of resistance in this area until we come up to about 28K or so. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just pointing out that we are seemingly rejecting off of resistance right now. And we are forming bear divs on most of the time frames. So I would not be surprised if we saw a move down from here. Maybe just another correction like we've been seeing. Correction, move up, come down, correction. Maybe a big move up. Who knows? But I don't think we're just going to keep going straight up from here. Seems like Bitcoin needs to at least cool off a little bit. And... Who knows, could potentially turn into something much worse. I have absolutely no idea. Just wanted to make this video though, to point out um, what I was seeing because uh, like I said, it's called the divergence suite strategy when you're seeing divs crossed pretty much all the time frames, all basically pointing to the same thing. And if you're rejecting off of a key resistance or bouncing off key support while you're seeing that, can be very powerful so again who knows what's going to happen but thank you everybody for watching i'll see you in the next video peace